Well, I guess to recount the preliminary discussions that happened at the Concordia Food Coalition um, since 2013 was talking about um, what are land trusts and how could some be formed with the, the resources that you, the university has that could provide food for the university if farming was done on it, that could help preserve land. So these were the preliminary discussions and that grew and grew and until fall of last year in 2015 um, the Hudson Land, the Hudson Food Collective uh, came and and spoke with the Concordia Food Coalition and really found an alliance in visions and mentality and decided to form this working group which is a partnership between the both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on my end through the Hudson Food Collective basically our first meeting of the Hudson Food Collective, our really our vision was really looking at the denser area, densely more densely populated area of Hudson, and we wanted to talk about food skills and and food knowledge sharing. But then at the very first meeting, there was a farmer there saying Hudson has 50% agricultural land, and not a lot of land is being cultivated, and so it would be a really good opportunity. Um, or a really important thing to do to protect that land from development. There is pressure in Hudson to grow the population and also for development and um, I think it's a really urgent to um, save this land from from development and also from possibly being farmed um, through industrial monoculture practices. Um, currently there's a farm that we were actually looking at and they're growing um, GMO um, GMO soy for the first time on this area of Hudson ever and so that was kind of a reality check for us like of how important it really is to um, protect the land in Hudson. So there's somebody who is interested in their land becoming a land trust. He would like to pass the land on and to protect it for agriculture. He'd like to see, um, you know, little farms developed on this piece of land. So he's interested in engaging in this process um, and whether it takes five years um, to, to work with us. So that's a really um, exciting yeah. exciting prospect. What's been exciting is that we've so what the Hudson Land Trust project has looked like in Hudson is that we've generated a lot of discussion um, around what are land trusts and their uses and how they can preserve land and help better integration of new farmers and and can help better land stewardship. All of these conversations have been happening in Hudson and have been involving land owners in Hudson who have increasingly become interested this one man, James Ball, is not the only one, but there are other landowners who are would like to possibly donate their land, would like to know how to get more young farmers on their land. And so the talk of a land trust has also included all of its goals and aspects in their own right. So in introduction of, in, or incorporation of new farmers, um, progress of the food movement back towards better stewardship of the land, ecological agriculture. And this, is, this has brought on a lot of positive um, conversation in Hudson. Um, it's a small community of 5,000, and a lot of people spread that word around. And we've had people contacting us saying, I have land, or my friend has land. What do we do with it? How can we do this? And some want to donate, some want to sell, some want to find some way to rent and transition. And we're open to all of that, and we're not we're not exclusive to finding one land trust project, but we're part of this entire movement, one at a time. What's exciting is that some council members attended some of our agricultural visioning sessions, and so this inspired them to actually incorporate the creation of a land trust into their. Well, they incorporated the creation of micro farms, organic micro farms into the strategic plan and they're also very interested through the agricultural committee in creating a land trust in Hudson. So um, we think it's a great opportunity also to have students get involved in this process and potentially um, work with local government in Hudson and learn, you know, a real at, at a small municipal scale how to make these projects happen. There's a lot of great 
projects in, at Concordia where students get experience, um, you know, with participatory action research and stuff like that. But this would be in uh, a municipal environment rather than a university environment.